If you like what I make and want to help out the channel, make sure you subscribe to it, turn on notifications, leave a like on the video below, and comment as well. Thanks for your support, guys. Hey there, YouTube. Welcome back to the Gecko. Another day, another video for you guys. And this is the last attack based video for the free to play gear series. Now, as I said in the past videos, I'll say it over and over. These videos are specific for one type of attack, for one stats. I don't care if there's a better item that is overall better on the whatever category as an armor, as a whatever not. I don't care. I don't care about the fact that there is an item that I say doesn't exist, that like an armor, for example, for cavalry attack does not exist as a free to play. And yet there is grimy plate or there is other plates or other armor you can use. I don't care about that. I'm here to show you how to get the most of one specific stat. And the stat we're looking at right now is cavalry attack. So let's get right ahead and look at the equipment we have for cavalry attack. So let's set our filter to cavalry attack. And guess what? Pay to play, pay to play, pay to play. Yup, the only free to play helmet you have is the bloodstained helmet. Now the bloodstained helmet gives you full cavalry boosts, attack, defense, and max HP all at 8%. It's a very good helmet if you're basing yourself strictly on cavalry. Now there are other helmets, yes, sure. As someone pointed out in a previous video, I legit re-recorded this video just to point this out, that you could, in theory, like in the armor, which I'm about to tell you, there is no cavalry armor, okay? There is no cavalry attack armor. However, you could, in theory, take this one, which is a free-to-play monster hunt armor piece, which is the, uh, what's, what you might call them again? The Helldrader's freaking armor. And it has 5% army attack. So this would give you 5% cavalry, 5% range, 5% infantry. Yes, in theory, you could use this for your cavalry attack. And yes, I guess that if you're looking at cavalry and range attack, which don't have armor, but you still want to get that extra percentage, you can get this, get your army attack and get your 5% that way. And also two other attack types will get 5% as well. This is not a bad armor but i wasn't going for these types of stats as i said i'm just going over this because someone said i was being silly in a comment and i didn't take it too much for granted you know he is right however we're strictly focusing on the stats on the cavalry attack stat there's going to be other videos that are going to talk about other types of stats that you can keep in mind and maybe we'll do a discussion on what are two or three best bang for your buck sets later on so we went over the armor. There is no cavalry attack armor. In terms of shoes, we're once again in a little bit of a dilemma of the durable boots versus the amethyst boots. They both give you 4.5% cavalry. They're insanely good for you, just like the ranged attack, which give you 4.5%. We talked about this in the ranged video. You can go with the amethyst boots for the construction set, and then later on upgrade to durable boots for your more army defense, army attack, the general war set that you build and of course there are also the honeycomb chaps which we went over on the, in the previous video as well for range attack they're insanely good for cavalry attack as well i would go with these over the other ones but again these are monster hunt free to play and these are free to play materials okay so again there's the dilemma it's pretty much like the ranged attack you just got to think what you want and uh, how you want to build your set as a main hand we have Another like common denominator which we talked about a little bit and that's the Falcon Gale. The Falcon Gale and the Fiery Tomahawk actually give you the same exact amount of cavalry attack, okay? So these are the best ones. But then again, you can decide to go for a cavalry range set and not care for infantry attack at all. And then this is less helpful than this one because you get another percent and a half right here. Yes, you're giving up six and a half infantry attack percent and I don't know why you do that over 5% trap attack. But again, we're going with the extreme situation where you wanna get the most ranged attack, the most cavalry attack. Personally, free to play, main hand. I love this one. It's a really, really good one. 10% cavalry attack, six and a half infantry attack, three and a half range attack. You really can't get too much better than this. And that's really all you have in terms of free to play main hand for cavalry attack. Unfortunately, that's all you got. In here, again, there is a bunch of like free-to-play items and there's some that aren't. 
I went with the most attack, as I explained again and again and again, and that's the Noah's Cube for the offhand. It has the most cavalry attack to offer you with 5%. It also gives you 6% ranged attack. So again, talking about that cavalry range set, you have here a very, very good offhand. Is it the best offhand you can get out of all free-to-play? No, probably not, but this one has the most cavalry attack to give you, and on top of that, a little bit of range attack. I would take that as an offhand. There is no Monster Hunt free-to-play item for cavalry attack okay the accessories however get a little interesting the accessories believe it or not your sentinel circlet the one item that you need the most for construction speed also gives you four percent cavalry attack which is pretty good it is pretty much the same as the crystal tier which and these are the two cavalry attack accessories that are free to play like material free to play material items okay so these two give you the best bang for your buck in terms of free to play materials and you need to build, build these anyway for your construction speed so that's pretty nice to get the cavalry attack out of it most people will say like what the hell this guy doesn't why is he wearing his construction gear well it also has a little bit of cavalry attack of course you don't want to be doing that really you want to go for the ivory choker which is a monster hunt free to play accessory from the saber Saber Fang it drops all these beauties, and you can make one of these get 8% cavalry attack and, a, and travel speed, which is pretty good actually. This is actually good for another set that I'll talk about later on. And we talked about the Aqua Anemone. Anemone? Anemone? I don't know how you say that. Which comes with the best infantry attack and also the best cavalry attack when it comes to Monster Hunt free to play accessories. So, yes, I wouldn't say you should rock these three in all your battles. But when you're building your construction speed set, you'll also have a little bit of attack involved. And later on, you want to upgrade to the Ivory Choker and Aquanimone, depends, depending on the materials you got. Of course, you want to get as much as possible so you can, you know, get them really quickly. So you might get one of these and one of these and then whoever you can get to gold first, the third one. Or it just depends on what you're thinking about. So if you go for only mon material free to play items, you can only get about 31.5% cavalry attack which is crazy it's so low if you involve the monster hunt free to play and get the best set you can get you can end up with another 59 percent like total 59 percent upgrade on your cavalry attack add to that the 160 from your jewels in the future you'd have a nice nice little set hitting the 215s without counting your talents so you'd be pretty decent you know not the strongest but pretty decent we covered right now the cavalry attack set the cavalry attack items we've overall covered so far infantry attack range attack and cavalry attack the next video is probably going to cover a little bit of materials and then later on we'll go into different types of sets that you want to build different types of items that you want to make sure you prioritize and later on we will see how we go towards not only free to play items but also the lower cheaper uh, pay to play items that require only one or two of the uh, of the rare item that might be a possibility especially if you get a little bit of lucky in labyrinth if you get lucky opening chests from guild fest if you get lucky in many different ways uh, even monster hunting right or the events that you can get these chests that drop these materials you can get those materials right so you do have a way to get maybe one or two of the uh, fear drums for example and of the gargantua eye and then go for the fear drums which are 16 percent right like to get one of each is a task but it's not that out of proportions like i've seen people free to play players that ended up getting very lucky and getting one of these you get one of these that's automatically three of these three of these three of these and four of these which means you can automatically get three cavalry 10 30 percent cavalry attack just from these three right so we're gonna go over those things in a later video for now we only covered free to play stuff i'm the gecko i'm out of here thank you very much for all your support all your likes on the videos all your comments below leave me questions leave me suggestions as you see i read them all and anything that is matter it matters that you guys say i do actually read every single thing and i take everything in but if you say something that's worth mentioning here and you correct me i definitely agree with you if you're right of course again you can message me on facebook tweet at me whatever you want links are down in the description the gear set that i talked about right is in the description as well i'm out of here guys
See you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.